Now, friends, I don't plan to spend long on the stage tonight. I'm kind of enjoying being off center stage. <laughs> so let me begin just by thanking each and every one of you. All of you who are here in Vancouver for this convention, in coming here, and joining with your fellow Conservatives, you are building for the future, for the future of this party, our party, and for the future of our great country. The fact is, our party has enjoyed a remarkable era of success. For the first time since Sir John A. Macdonald, for the first time in over a hundred years, a long-standing Conservative government, even in defeat, has emerged strong and united, the one and only opposition party position to take the government the next time around. Friends, that kind of lasting, long-term success is thanks to you, the members of this great party. You have given generously of your time, your money, and your prayers. You took a set of ideas and made them into a national grassroots organization. It was thanks to you that we were able to cut taxes to their lowest level in over 50 years. It was thanks to you that we were able to put dollars into the pockets of hardworking families to expand their incomes and to make record investments in infrastructure and to do it all while balancing the federal budget. That we were able to get tough on crime, protect victims, to rebuild our military, to vastly expand Canada's global free trade access, to witness the decline of Quebec separatism and Western alienation. And it was thanks to you that we were able to stand up as a country and take principled positions in a dangerous world. And friends, as I look out on this great crowd tonight, I see the energy, I see the passion, and I see the deep abiding love for our Canada that will propel you forward to an even brighter future in the next life. I was blessed to work with the most talented, dedicated, and loyal parliamentary caucus that I think any leader in this country has ever had. Over the last decade, literally thousands of individuals have worked for our Conservative team, whether on Parliament Hill, the Minister's offices, the Prime Minister's office, or at our party headquarters. I know many of you are also here tonight. Yours was often thankless work, requiring heroic energy and inexhaustible patience. I thank those who have served our cause, managing Conservative Fund Canada. In the new Conservative Party of Canada, we broke with the past, broke with the failed systems of both legacy parties by giving the people who are responsible for raising the money the primary responsibility for managing the money. This allowed us to move away from corporate money, from union money, from big money, and also, yes, to significantly reduce taxpayer subsidies and to finally create a genuine grassroots-based fundraising system. A system, friends, where those who give can have no expectation other than a shared desire to advance our values and to build a better country. And friends, and friends, this is important. Irving, Louis, and the other members of the fund have done something without precedent. Even after an election defeat, we remain significantly the financially strongest of all of the parties. To our friends, the board, the volunteers, and members of Calgary Heritage, for your years of devoted hard work, I thank you very, very much. And of course, most importantly, I want to thank my family. Whatever a person pays for being in public life, and frankly, I always found it far more of an honor than a burden. Nevertheless, a bigger price is paid by those closest to them. I can never properly thank my late father, my mother, my brothers and their family, of course, Ben and Rachel, and above all, my best friend, my closest counselor, and the love of my life, Rachel. But frankly, the past is no place to linger. Now is the time to look forward. Our party's journey is only beginning. Millions of Canadians entrusted us with their votes. 
And I know in the months and years to come, you will work hard to secure the votes of millions more. I know you will continue to build our organization from coast to coast to coast. Friends, I know you will continue the critical work of reaching out to new Canadians and bringing them into our party at all levels. It was one of the outstanding achievements of the past decade, and that work must continue. And I know, friends, that throughout all these efforts, ours will continue to be the party of those who work hard, who play by the rules, and who are struggling to raise a family in an uncertain world. Ours is the party that knows hard-earned dollars are better spent by families than by governments. We are the party that knows as well, friends, that this country, with all that it has, this bastion of freedom and human dignity, even if it means you cannot be all things to all people, this country must stand for something in the world. Friends, our party, the party that you have built over the last 13 years, is strong today, and it will be even stronger in the future. In a year, you will select from among many outstanding candidates a new leader, and you will unite behind that person, because in 2019, perhaps more than we understand even now, our country will need a strong, united, conservative party ready to go.